That's really nice. Bit further up, you believe? Okay. Thank you very much for the info. I shall continue my ascent. Believe I can make it with that little jump there. Well, I mean, there's a little cabin up there. Wouldn't mind trying to find out what's up there, so sure. Let's pop down a little bit of stuff here, and we'll just start to ascend. Really? Just this? Oh, fair enough. I guess that isn't so bad. Uh, what are you? A little bit of ore, perhaps? Yeah, a little tiny bit of tungsten ore. Oh, Caster just sent me a voice memo. I'm going to have to listen to that later. Right, okay, so, with all that done, we've got a little cavern over here that I can probably have a quick gander into. I mean, I, I quite like, at the very least, fully exploring the areas nearby my, my home. Like, directly underneath my home, where I can. Right, let's, uh, let's see if I can't smack you around a bit with a yo-yo. Looks like I can. That little extra bit of reach makes the yo-yo so many times more useful. Yeah. What? A kite? What did I just pick up? Kites can be flown on windy days. Reel it in with the right click. Is that an accessory or something? No. Huh. I can go fly a kite. Up to the highest height. here. A little bit of water up there that might lead to some sort of cavern with something interesting in it. We've definitely got a little bit of something down here as well. Welcome back, Leon. I'll go, uh... I'll go deploy that kite in a moment. Oh, really? Am I not trying? I am. First, I'm going to let out some of this water, see what's up here, and slowly make my way up. I mean, if we make a, a faster route to get down here, that, that's not necessarily a bad thing. There we go. Anything? I think that actually might be a little bit of all there. I am super thorough. Give me a break. I know it's like a tiny bit of ore and I could get much better ores deeper down if I just went down there, but here we are. And whoop. Okay, maybe not then. Do I really care to be up there? I kind of do. A little bit of clay. That's not really worth it. Cobwebs, definitely, though. Again, we'll be using the yo yo to uh, ruin things today. Uh, mine, mainly, it seems. There we go. <laughs> now you buggered. Let's keep you down there. Smack you on that he helmet of yours all the time. Thank. Thank you. Right. That is one nice thing about uh, being in the uh, in the underground. 
is it doesn't really matter whether it's day or night. It's pretty much the same down here, either way. We got something going on down there. Nope, keep back. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Don't kill me. I refuse. Uh, I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter. Refuse or not. If it's gonna get me, it's gonna get me, but I'd still rather it didn't. If it could be at all avoided. I should be able to win a fight out in the open right now, but that will go down pretty quickly as they surround me, so that was not what I wanted to do, I'll be honest. I wanted to try and get up on the on the rope, but I managed to miss it completely. Twice, actually. Oh, look at those. Three boulders. There's a trap down there. That's the second time I died in the same area. More or less. Uh, should I go straight down there? Um, it's a little bit more risky, but... Yeah, sure. We'll go straight down. But those bloody slimes right there. I have not got the sort of tank ability, really, for master mode uh, enemies like that. Hmm. Which way are you going? Because I would really like to be over here, I'll be honest. Come on, jump up. Thank you. That'll do. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, dear. No, that's fine. Oh, oh. That's kind of a problem, I'll be honest. Ah, pause. Now I can't see you. Now the problem is I'm, I'm starting to accrue... Ah! I almost managed to get it up there. I'm worried about the amount of amount of tombstones I'm, I'm depositing in this one spot. The thing here is those weren't even um, nighttime enemies that, that caused me an issue. They were just straight up slimes let's go back down we'll try it once or twice more if not then I didn't have anything particularly uh, crazy good on me and rather than make this area basically a no man's land for myself I would sooner leave. Right, let's uh, get that there. Uh, at the... Okay. I uh, don't want to deal with you, so I'm going to be up here for now. Uh, while I just sort all of this out, let's get rid of that. Get my armor back, and such that it is. Sword. Heck, you can go down there too. Bow. There we go. Uh, I've got a blue slime that can and will probably mess me up. Yep. I've just got to pick my timing. Ow, ow, come on. Jump one way, I'll tether. I don't want to... Ah, oh, damn it. I've really got to try and get somewhere where I can uh, finish equipping. It's this little area here which is the real big problem for me. This little approach is so open to attacks. Um, I need to find some way of managing this, because th this is where I keep dying. So, clearly, I need to get better at dealing with this part. That's the way I'm thinking about it anyway. Opportunity for me to improve. Right, for now, I need to deal with you. But yeah, I know we got enough uh, health to deal with these mobs. If slimes are this much of a problem for me, I worry about what it's going to be like when uh, it comes to the bosses. Mind you, hopefully by then I might have some better gear, but... 
that being said... You know what, I'm going to switch to my boat. That's the other thing. So I'm using a particularly weak weapon right now because the yo-yo isn't really that strong yet. It's versatile and it's kind of funny. But it's not a damage dealer. Right, finally, let's make a move. Uh, now, I don't want to know... How dangerous the ghosts are going to be once they start spawning. That is absolutely not something I'm interested in finding out just yet. There we go. So I don't want to undermine those graves. Actually, what did it say? Count of Acula got snapped in half by a red slime. Count of Acula was cut down. Uh, cut down the middle by a red slime. Really? Was I? Because I kind of feel that it was more likely that I just got digested by a red slime. Which, I agree, is not a particularly nice fate either way. But, I don't feel that the slime cut me. I don't feel that it was an edged attack. Let's just put a little bit more light in this area. Got some sapphires down here, though. I'm hoping to be able to use that death counter, by the way, at the end of the stream, just to uh, kind of report on my progress. So do try to keep it up to date if you can. Remember, Havoc, if you're having a difficult time with an enemy, try reducing the hit points to zero. Rightio, Bilal, I will take that advice under consideration. <laughs> you cheeky, cheeky scoundrels, you. Big old gold chest down there. It's like, yeah, you totally want to be down here. No, no, it's going to be fine. No traps? Traps? What are, what are traps? Oh, my lord, really? How did that happen? Wow. It didn't move, though. I mean, that, that was that was funny because I was mocking the traps, but I, I I don't understand what killed me there. Does anyone who's uh, a bit more familiar with the mechanics of traps in Terraria know what happened there, just so that I can avoid that in the future? Because initially I was just trying to undermine the boulders to cause them to fall down, but then I noticed that I could just mine the boulders themselves and that destroyed them. But why? What what killed me there? The boulder started moving, but I believe touching the boulder made it roll. They roll right when not contained on flat ground. Can't touch the boulder at all. Okay, well, I, I did move closer to the boulder, so that's probably what happened then. Okay, thank you very much, chat. I assumed if it wasn't in motion, it wasn't dangerous, but uh, duly noted. Okay, I'm getting very concerned about the potential for uh, for some sort of crazy ghost area down here. My body was mangled by a boulder. That is actually quite accurate, yes. So how many deaths are we up to now then, chat? In just the last last minute or two, it's been three. I'm certain. Three at least. Maybe it's been more, actually. I'd be worrying. Go and yo yo. Yeah. 
quite a lot of sapphire stuff, which is quite nice. There's the brass plate. And there we go. I feel really bad that I've started to die all of a sudden, like a lot. I'm sure part of it is probably just that I'm I'm getting a bit tired. Uh, as it is 2 a.m., but still, I feel a little bit ashamed about uh, about how much I'm dying there. I do, I do apologize. I, I will get better. All right. Dunk. There we go. We'll be a lot more careful in the future. But thank you for the info on the, on the on the boulders. Which is about a grapple hook, topaz or sapphire? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Boulders are quite scary enemies. They do strange things. Oh, okay. If if it's kind of a if, if it's kind of a known thing that they it's like, yeah, they sometimes just move, and uh, yeah, yeah, that sucks when it happens. I I'm a lot happier with that in general than. Uh, than just feeling like I don't understand what I did wrong because that's that's the worst part is it's generally fine if you can uh, if you if you understand like the the mechanisms by which you failed you can avoid that failure again but if for example in my case I was just like yeah no I I, I kind of feel like I shouldn't have died there then it's just going to happen again and again and again. And that's going to feel really bad after a while. Nope. Look, worm dude. I just want I just want to mine my tungsten ore in peace. And I ideally don't want to summon a ghost. That would suck. Ah, no. I've learned my lesson. No more hubris from me. Go away. Also, drop my money. I've got to recover all of the, the coins that I've been blowing on death. Those tombstones are not cheap, you know. Right, let's uh, take you out with the yo-yo. It'll interrupt your jump a little bit more frequently. Oop. Right. Aha! This looks like a nice little spot here. I'll take it. No, my torch! Balls. Uh, let's go across and then we can mine down and then in. I think that would probably be the better way to go. The other thing that I'm trying to avoid doing is... Uh, it's... 100% not a, in my opinion, a, a bad tactic, but it's kind of a, it leads to ugly minds, and so I try to avoid it. But if, for example, you you enjoy employing this tactic, don't, uh, don't for a moment think that I don't understand the, the benefit of it. But I'm trying not to just Everywhere I go, just like build a little wall behind myself. That would 100% reduce the the risk of uh, immediate death by slimes falling on my head. However, yeah, like I said, it would lead it would lead to an ugly mine shaft, in my opinion. And I am right now all about making a, a pretty area. Or, like, well, I mean, right now, here is particularly pretty. I've just got random torches and, and rope coils all over the place. But uh, it's interesting, at the very least. So you could probably write a, fill a book with uh, all of the things that I... Acknowledge are uh, useful things to do, but don't do for some sort of aesthetic reason. I can't see anything up there. If I had, like, a Spelunker potion, that would be amazing. I would have all of the things, all of the time. Glow stick is useful. I'm not going to use it, but, uh, like, as in throw it. Because I would 
rather just use it to give myself a little bit of uh, visibility right now. I'll grab a landfill of it. I will check chat in a moment. Sorry, I'm uh, moving through here. Uh, east is the uh, crimson, yeah. Or corruption, you know. They're, they're, they're largely the same thing, really. You know, rose by any other name, really, on that one. Ooh. Okay, well, well let's quickly get down here. And do the old... I mean, there is an air bubble over there, but I also don't know what's in there. So I'm going to quickly make myself a little air bubble here. The other thing you can do is you can stick a little torch in the air bubble and suddenly uh, illuminate the area around it, which is quite useful. Ah, there we are. Now, in here, from slimes, you are 100% protected by doing something like this. Because a slime can't sink. Literally can't go down in water. It's always buoyant. Morbid Warmage! Hey, mate, how you doing? I haven't seen you in chat for a little while. It's always wonderful to see you drop by. 24 months as well. Wow. Huh. Two years already. Thank you so much for the support, mate. Uh, I don't believe I've got enough money for the piggy bank yet. Uh, I, I've died recently so many times. I should have dropped off my money. Uh, I forgot about that mechanic. Thank you for reminding me about it, though. I do feel a bit dumb, though. I should have uh, dropped off my cash. Let's get in here and start hollowing out this uh, copper deposit. Also make myself a little breathing hole. There we go. Don't worry, we will be going to that gold chest soon. I'm just frustratingly patient with these sorts of things. Everyone's like, oh my god, my brain! I want to know what's in that special chest. Why are you already grabbing it? I'm like, yeah, I will grab it in time. It's okay. You don't need to rush. All the time in the world. Well, only we might not, because they those slimes may easily wreck my face. However, for them there is one small problem. <laughs> no one can escape. Uh, this is going to be the slowest victory ever. But, you know, it's a victory still. They can't get to me. I can get to them. Sort of. If only my, uh, you know, yo-yo did a lot of damage. This would be great, but uh, this is fine. We're actually fighting against some of the higher, <laughs> higher level slimes with a bloody wooden yo-yo. Ah, my life has been reduced to this. Actually, I can probably happily dig that away. There we go. Oh, and... Oh. I hadn't considered that. Also... <laughs> yeah, I see you there. I see you there. Being all hidey and trap-like. I'm on to you. Lots of purple down here, though. Look at how many traps! Wow, okay. They really want to protect those golden chests from now on. There is a... I can only assume a skeleton down there. Is it a skeleton? Oh dear lord, there's, there's traps on that side as well. What would activate this, though? This is terrifying. There are far too many traps in this area. So many. I think I'm underneath that traps um, hit area, though. I don't know. Uh! I'm alive! 
Okay, so that was actually connected to the to the uh, to the chest itself. Now that is something new. That's something. Oh, why? Seriously? Are you here and annoyed because I'm carrying the chest? Uh, carrying the tombstone? Uh, it might be. I was just killed by myself. That's the worst part about that. I didn't even do anything. I was killed by myself. By a vengeful, vengeful me. <sighs> Alas. I picked up the tombstone. Is that what triggers it? Holding the tombstone. Right, okay. I was wondering that, but unfortunately I was not in uh, position at that moment to try and uh, deal with the fact that I had the tombstone on me. It wasn't in any convenient space, and I didn't quite understand the mechanic yet. I could have been faffing around with that instead of trying to dodge the thing when uh, dodging it was the only thing that would have saved me. Oh well. Do you only note it though? On the plus side, nice easy way back. Bloody loot all over the place though. Alright, let's uh loot all. Problem is, I'm about to go down here. Dead man's chest. I'm am I about to pick up that bloody tombstone again? I don't see a thing. This is so risky. Oh, great. I still need to get stuff from down there, though. Right, spec shoes can be worn in a vanity slot. So allows the ability to slide down walls, improve ability, blah blah blah. Thankfully, you went the wrong way. Uh, improves ability if combined with climbing claws. No, really? Yeah, this is the problem. So I've got no particular way out of here right now. Uh, and my rope coils appear to be down the bottom. However, I've got so many. I may be able to survive this, but I'm very lucky. I know it might seem like a bit stupid to go past the obvious traps, but this little spot over here is somewhat removed. Not right now, Bat. Really, really, really not in the mood. Ah, poop! Should have put my sword in my first slot. <sighs> right, well, I'm not getting my uh, gear just yet, then. I am inste instead going to die out here. I've got no particular weapons, and they can bash down doors right now. That one can, anyway. The blood zombie. Or maybe they can't. What I really need to do is to get to my house and try to go to sleep. Alright. Making a run for it. Come on, come on. That's right, that's right. This way, this way, this way. Both of you. Whoop. Oh, damn it. You saw through my cunning plan. Why didn't I respawn in the bed, though, is the curious one. Hmm. No. No. You are far too fast for a zombie. I call shenanigans on that nonsense. I really want to try and get to the bed so I can just sleep through the night. All right. So. How's your day going? Yeah, Blood Moon is, is going on right now. And all of my gear is down in the caves. 
so killing right so from what, what we've learned a touching boulders at all is dangerous okay duly noted carrying a tombstone can lead to death because it summons a ghost <laughs> 